Well, today is the first day of early voting for the May 24th runoff election. The race for Texas Attorney General is the biggest item on the statewide ballot. And our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden reports both the Democrats and the Republican challengers are campaigning against incumbent Ken Paxton. I'm going to fight for us as the next Texas Attorney General. Candidates for Attorney General. I truly would use the Attorney General's office to serve everybody. Working to galvanize voters to show up in a traditionally low turnout election. Defeat George P. Bush. This race isn't about my last name. It's about Ken Paxton's crime. Both Ken Paxton and George P. Bush spending time and money attacking each other. Commissioner George P. Bush proposed a bold plan to reimagine the Alamo. And it's not conservative to cheat on your wife. It's not conservative to abandon the Constitution. And it's not conservative to accept bribes from financial donors. Democrats Rochelle Garza and Joe Jaworski also on the attack, but not on each other. I am the best candidate for, for this race, for this position, and to take on Ken Paxton in November. Focusing instead on the Republican incumbent. I, my complaint with Mr. Paxton is that he stokes endless culture war rather than uses the attorney general's office to serve everybody. Analysts say it's a safe strategy for them to focus talking points on electability. Paxton, the incumbent, he was the closest Republican to losing last time around. So they're set up for an opportunity. New polling on the GOP race from the Dallas Morning News and UT Tyler shows Ken Paxton's lead over George P. Bush is shrinking, but still a comfortable six points in. Polling, of course, only a snapshot in time. We never know who's going to come out to vote. In a runoff, anything can happen. Monica Madden, KXAN News. And we reached out to Attorney General Ken Paxton for an interview for this story. We did not receive a response. Early voting runs through Friday of this week. Coming into this race, current Attorney General Ken Paxton still faces charges of securities fraud in a case from before he was ever elected Attorney General. Paxton has also faced accusations from former employees turned whistleblowers. He has denied their claims of bribery and abuse of office. Land Commissioner George P. Bush has come under fire in his own office. A number of communities raised concerns about the way federal Hurricane Harvey aid has been distributed. In the first round of awards last year, the city of Houston did not get anything from the billion dollars the general land office distributed. Out today, our media partners at the Texas Tribune found the same issue is about to happen again in the next round of awards. We do have a link to that story at KXAN.com.